Right, this is Sheila. It's about the 30th or 31st of July 2010. I'm going back to 1066 and there we have Battle Abbey up there. Um, there's more of it than that, the front part you can't see from this angle. But I'm, this is just a very, very quick video because of battery. I'm actually on the actual ba battlefield. I'm actually on the battlefield where 1066 happens along this line here so if I'm going to show, turn around and show you this this is Sheila and um, all around me is where the Battle of Hastings took place the English formed I think it was on this hill or it could have been further up there on that hill up there and the Normans had to come up this hill <coughs> what happened they they the Normans originally thought William had died so they turned and started to run back down the Anglo-Saxons thought they were running away chased them which broke their very strong line the Normans, William then said, no, I'm not dead. Follow me. And he charged and they circled the ones that had broken away, the Anglo-Saxons, and destroyed them. And then they did that manoeuvre several times. It worked. They slaughtered them all. 7,000 people died on this battlefield in 1066 in October. By Christmas Day, William the Conqueror had been crowned King of England. So that's it. This is just a little bit of history, everybody. I'm actually on the battlefield. And I'm with, I'm with English Heritage, who have provided me with a nice book as well. Look. Battle Abbey Battlefield, like that. And, of course, I'm being a bit cheeky. I'm using some of their video footage. They're, um audio to complement my own work right over and out right this is Sheila at the battle this is the battlefield. All round here, got the battle. And um, I've walked all the way round this morning. I'm over here, this is where that little battle took place. Around here, you see. They've got the Abbey ruins up there. And then, then they all flew up that way, like that. And with the um, Anglo Saxons that were up on the top there. And um, so this is Sheila, Battle of Hastings, back in time. That's the whole battle there, all the way round there. Oh, I've done it wrong. This is Sheila. Yeah, I've done that wrong, oh, I taped the tree. at the Battle of Hastings all around here is the Battle of Hastings so I turned it round the wrong way I did it wrong because you've got me twice on the way this is the Battle of Hastings this is the place here the army's egg and they would be going up like that and um, William the Conqueror's people were all up there. And then they had to come that way. And then they, the, the, the line broke and um, then the Normans were able to come up, up through that way. Like that. So I've done all that twice now. So this is the Battle of Hastings. And the Normans would be all down there. And then... Um, 
up there we'd have the he built in 86, 1070 he built the monastery that was up there as well see so that's very good isn't it so I've got people watching me on video but the first part of that I had it against the tree so that tree sort of symbolises something doesn't it really symbolic that tree is very symbolic imagine this battle here on this ground here we fought on this ground fought and attacked here on this very soil English soil it's where it all happens here it's weird isn't it because William the Conqueror is related to us and some of the, like the Stuttvilles. Over and out folks. Just a very short video. I'm up at the battlements where they, uh, it's now a school up here, but uh, this is where the actual battle took place up here. Um, the English stood up here and the Normans tried coming across this way. And it's only because they broke their line, I suppose, that the Normans got through. Um, this was built on the, this abbey was built on, on the site of the battle, where the, a lot of the battle took place right up here. But I thought I'd just do a little bit. I've walked all round there earlier, following the trail. I might go round again in a minute because um, you can't take it all in the first time. There's a lot to see, but I'm only doing a very short video because um, <coughs> I might run out. There's loads, there's loads I could have videoed, to be quite honest, but... I mean, this building here is now a school, but it was the refectory where the monks used to eat and... and uh, live and everything. There's still lots of um, remains left around, like the... Um, latrines. <laughs> yeah, there we go, look. That's the... I don't even know if we're allowed in there. I don't really know actually. I'm just wandering about. It's a beautiful view. Up here in the Sussex countryside at the place called Battle. Where the Battle of Hastings took place. In case I hadn't said that on the... Um, This is just a picture of the abbey from the west in the 1780s. The two towers are all that remain of the guest range. Yeah, the monks used to be very hospitable, looked after the needy, sick and poor travellers. Um, the Battle Abbey also had to accommodate kings, nobles and bishops on their journeys. Because it lacks important relics, Battle Abbey never became a major pilgrimage destination. 
but remained a convenient stopping point for travellers. Right, then I'm just going to put it on pause a minute. I wonder if these steps are as old as the building. I doubt it, but they were put in much later on. Yeah, I don't think you can find it all in the beginning. It takes a bit of time. In fact, I got lost, I think. I don't know if I think I'm supposed to be in here at all. Yeah, and the public aren't supposed to be in here. Look, I got in here by accident. Now I've got to try and get out. Right, I'm going to turn off now, folks. 